So last week, we started our snacking around the country. And we had such amazing time, ta- such an amazing time and great information. And reliving that wonderful experience. That our video was so long, we cut it into two parts. So here is part two. Be sure to go back and watch part one. Right here. <laughs> so bad with the directions. Right there. Right there. <laughs> so you can see the first half of the countries. All right, so after the United States <laughs> was Italy. And Italy is a weird country to do snacking around the world because they've only got... They've got gelato. Yes. And drinks. And that's kind of it outside, right? Yeah. And we didn't think we'd want gelato. And we weren't in the mood for a pizza, go to Via Napoli, so... Yeah. Wasn't time for dinner yet. Right. So we came up with a solution. Yeah, we did. We went to the Tutto Gusto Wine Cellar. cellar. Or is it just cellar? No, I think you're right. I think it's wine cellar. I was just emphasizing the cellar part. And I think we have it. We may have a picture behind us. Of the couch. Of the couch that we were sitting on. It was very weird because we sat at a couch with a coffee table in front of us. We ordered the strawberries and mascarpone cream, which I'm probably butchering that No, word. I think you did really well on that. That's that's <laughs> a lot different than I would have said it. I think that was probably, that was right. <laughs> it did not look anything like I thought it was going to look like. Did it look like what you thought it was going to look like? No. I thought it was going to look like strawberry, strawberry shortcake. And cream? <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a, I a shot it glass. Like strawberry shortcake. It was not really worthy of sharing. Yes. $5.00. Like, and it was if like I remember correctly, one bite. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was. But it was. It we got a little bit, and we got a little rest in the cool of the yes. room, and it, it was a nice experience. And it's very like lounge type. Mm-hmm. And we had a great server, and that's another thing, yeah, though. Did. Tip. Got a tip if you go there because you have a server, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but we never would have seen the inside of this place if we hadn't gone she was so much fun she was so italian it was awesome (laughs) it was just yeah i would go there again and try it again if we weren't just snacking yeah like food right because they had other things Mm, there's a menu to check out (laughs) so don where'd we go after italy germany which i would have forgotten if it wasn't on my shirt (laughs) (laughs) and normally when we go to germany i get a pretzel but because we were doing something new, we had to change it up. So right. one something different that we couldn't get just anywhere. It would need to be a German snack. That's I mean, pretzel's right. German, but we can get it. It's like popcorn. You can get it everywhere. <laughs> yes. So we got um, paprika chips. Which I am not a fan of. They were. The problem is that they looked like they were going to be barbecue chips. That may that may have been so the problem. Visually, so visually, I thought I was about to have like a barbecue chip in my mouth, right. and instead, I did not. I had all paprika in my mouth. Which it, I, it was a unique. Yeah. It was a unique taste. It was different. It was. And I'm actually willing to try it again now that my taste buds have changed. Oh I might yeah, like good them. point. Good point. Yeah. But, but that's tough to get. Tough to get the paprika chips. There is a lot. Like you go in between two restaurants or something. It's like this little thing. We had to go back into like there's a this, cubby. There's a second restaurant there? I don't know. I thought it was only the beer garden. Maybe one's beer a garden. bar? I can't. And the it. other side's a restaurant? I felt like we were in between two busy areas. Well, where you get the paprika chips line. is also where they serve pretzels and the pot, the Polish dogs. They're not Polish you, dogs, but they're. They're German dogs. They're, they're Frankfurters. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. I don't know. There's I don't think. Wiener. They are. <laughs> That's the American name. They're Frankfurters <laughs> from Frankfurt, Germany. Yes. They um. I didn't know there were pretzels back there. I was thinking there's pretzels. That's where we in the, always got our. Not the pretzels from. in the carts. Well, I'm sure there are pretzels ten, in the carts. Oh, and that's there. Pretzels in Germany are more expensive than pretzels anywhere else. That's because they're, they're as big as your head. Ten dollar pretzels. <laughs> they were not that big. I mean, not that expensive. They were. They're ten dollars. Wow. I got some with um, the you, girl the last time. Uh, can you get it with a snack credit? Oh, that's plan? a good question. Because they're they've gotten so good with those snack credits. Like you can get like six and seven dollar things. They've done a good job. I did that. not realize it was a ten dollar pretzel. I think it is. I mean, I felt like it was ten dollars. 
<laughs> it might have been like seven, and my body's going. Feels like okay. Ten. But you also got your favorite thing in Germany. Kind of my favorite. It has led to my favorite. Oh, okay. Which is the salted caramel. And we just got like a hunk of salted caramel. It was just. Oh no, we didn't. It has chocolate on it. Yeah. It had the chocolate. So it was my favorite thing. Okay. Because it's sea salt, milk chocolate. Where did we get the dark? I think, I don't remember. Sea salt, milk chocolate caramel. It has a thin layer of chocolate, the sea salt crunch. So yummy. Oh, well then we do, we do get popcorn in Germany because it's the, the Werther's, caramel the popcorn. caramel popcorn, which they make fresh there and it is awesome. Now. Disclaimer? What? Another tip. <laughs> what? Another tip. You can either stand in the line and get the fresh popcorn, mm -hmm. or you can buy a bag of popcorn. Which was freshly made recently. Recently. But it's not warm. It's not warm. It's not. Stand in the line. Right. Stand in the line. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's so. Because you got to stand in the line to pay anyway, I think. Well, you, I think. I don't know. But maybe you don't. But regardless. So, so after I, Germany, there's that long walk. Yeah. Is it a, well, oh, you get to go over the little bridge and everything. And the outpost. Yeah. And if you're at the wrong time of day. They do have food at the outpost. Yeah. But nothing. 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 I mean, it's like. It's not African food. Right. So, so we skipped it and went on to China and went to the joy of tea cart, right? To yeah. get the lucky yeah. combo. Yeah. The I'll lucky the combo. Huh? Yes. Out by the water. By the water. And the lucky combo comes with three items. A pork... Slider? Something. It's a... Oh, that pork bun. Pork bun, which I liked. And then a chicken something. Pocket? Pocket. That <laughs> we don't know that either of us liked it. And then an egg roll, which Dawn only eats the outside of, so I probably yeah. hate it. You never want to witness what I do to an egg roll. Dawn doesn't like the interior of the egg roll. They should make egg roll outers. They this do. should be a thing. It's called the wrapper. <laughs> no, I mean like cooked. Like the... So hmm. you just need to take that wrapper and throw it in the fryer and, I mean, you know, it's like I a like chip. the... Yeah, well those would be like the wontons, but the problem is I want the... I want the the softer part attached to it oh, too. You are I don't know okay. how you could do it. I don't know how you could do it. But if somebody could figure that out, I would love to have that. <laughs> that would be like my thing. So yeah, China, the lucky combo was not very lucky for Dawn. No, and then we had a second, or uh, the next country. We had two things that we didn't enjoy either of them. Please don't throw anything at us. We know that these are favorites. We know that everybody says they are awesome and you have to try them. And I totally feel like the cream in them had gone bad or something because they were both nasty. And it was the cream. So it maybe was. it was. Maybe maybe we're going to have to get over this experience. And try it again. And try it again. I know. Look at what our faces did. It was that bad. So anyway, so what we tried was the troll horn and the school bread. Because everybody's always going on and on and on about Both school bread. So we tried it, but it, it was not good. So yes, so we'll have to try it again. Maybe we'll try the troll horn again. I don't think I'm ready for the school bread has the has the coconut. And I don't I don't think uh -huh. even if it was good cream, I don't think I would be a fan of the coconut no. on top. I like coconut, so you can have coconut. the troll horn and I'll try the school bread. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. We're a little afraid of that. Maybe. Norway was not very lucky for us either. It was not kind. The trolls cast a spell on us. And then we had our third disappointing. <laughs> we had, man. We had the, three in a row. We ended in a. Four in a row. Well, we liked the caramel. I don't know. That last bit was kind of yeah. tough on us, I think. So we were really looking forward to the Cellier at the end. Yeah. So but, me Mexico, yeah. though. Mexico, Mexico. We'd heard a lot about the lounge, which you have to stand in a line to Is get a it, seat. What's it called? The tequila lounge. Yeah. It's um, inside the pavilion. And, and it's kind of hidden. Honestly, we never knew it was there until we saw lots and lots of people talking about the... Well, I never knew it was there. Well, you were about I, to say you no, knew, right? No, I was right? just going to say that I just thought it was that bar there. I didn't realize you could go in. Oh, I see. Which was, you didn't realize there were tables. And right. I didn't even see the bar. I didn't know there was anything there. But people kept talking about 
avocado margaritas and blood orange at margaritas mm -hmm. and all these different specialty drinks. I'm like, what are they talking about? So we decided to try that bar there. We still did not get a drink. No. And so we ordered the nachos with the trio combo, which comes with guacamole, queso cheese, and salsa. And I love queso cheese. And I did not like their queso cheese. And I usually do pretty good on salsa, but I felt like... I don't know what it was. It just wasn't. It, well, the problem is it, it tasted bitter. The problem but. is that Mexican food is one of those foods that we eat an Americanized version. That, that is very true. All the time. But I did like the guacamole, so I ate the guacamole. I just Dawn, ate chips. Don ate a couple of chips and had a coke. And just sat there going, "When are we going to Canada?" But yet we had to. I think we had to wait for our bill or something because we had to run to Canada. I remember having to run around to get there <laughs> and we had the last seating of the t night so we knew that if it we was didn't get there. It was a speed walk, I can tell you that. If we and didn't get there in time. There was some running. Oh my goodness, there was running. Because if there was, you blocked the running out of your head. <laughs> Look at me. I don't run. <laughs> but we were the last seating and we knew that if we didn't get there, we would not get, and our, uh, not get to eat. Our waiter was very aware that it was the last seating. And made us not, aware. Yes, and was not happy that we were not ordering dinners, although he should have been because we were done quicker that way. Yeah. I mean, and he still got a full tip from us. Yeah, we tipped so. him as if we ate a full meal. Yeah. And you know, well, hopefully he realized he treated us ugly once we left. But I don't know. But, but, um, we, did, but we did because we knew we were taking up a table for just... Dawn got a... I got a romaine salad. Which looked really good. And it was and, good. Yeah. And I tried the famous cheddar cheese soup, which I ate all of, so it must have been good. <laughs> yeah, I think you can, during the food and wine, I think they even serve sample sizes of them yes. at, their, at their booth. They do. So. And last year, the year before, they Steak. did those little tiny steaks. I say little tiny. They were plenty big for a snack. Yeah, they were. And yeah. that way you get a yeah. taste of that yummy steak that they have inside. So at Canada... Do mention, I mean, let them know you're sitting down. You're only getting appetizers. You're only getting, you can do it. I'm going to assume that our server was just having a rough night. Something had happened. I mean, the, uh, they're usually very, when very we booked it, accommodating. They were fine. Mm -hmm. The, the, um, what's hostess? The host, the hostess was fine with it. It was just the waiter. And, yeah, we he don't may, know. He may have just been having a bad night. Yeah, we don't know. We like to be positive. We like to give people a second chance. And usually that is not a problem. At any restaurant in Disney World, you can order just one thing or whatever. If you're on the dining plan, though, be aware of how that works out. Um, we'll cover that later on another video. All right. So, we conquered the world one snack at a time. <laughs> We did. And we had a lot of fun doing it. And we discovered foods that we would not have discovered that, otherwise. That is true. We tried a lot of new things. And that was actually the point. It was the point. So I would say a success. It was a tough success. If you like this video and want more like it, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And the little bell so you're notified next time we post a video. So she's Christina. And she's Dawn. And we'll see you next time.